episode 56 DC. I believe wood stove certification should be replaced by fence line monitoring of wood burning emissions using PM2.5 monitors, whether $100,000 standard EPA PM2.5 monitors, 11 on Wisconsin EPA Air Now Smoke and Fire Maps Today, or Purple Air resident owned PM2.5 monitors, 55 on Wisconsin EPA Air Now Smoke and Fire Maps alongside standard monitors today. Purple air monitors are correlated with standard monitors using a simple mathematical formula. Historic data of weekend and overnight PM2.5 stored on the Purple Air website can be downloaded by government officials during normal working hours. There is no need to enter a residence to know what burning is occurring and to take steps, beginning with fines, to shut it down. Indoor wood stove smoke is the same as outdoor wood boiler smoke. Twelve years ago, I helped pass local ordinances across Wisconsin against outdoor wood boilers, but new laws will have to be passed for indoor wood stoves, although both forms of wood burning, indoor and outdoor, produce the same resulting emissions, PM2.5 that invades the yards and infiltrates the homes of near neighbors. PM2.5 emissions are produced, remain in the air of a locality long enough for humans to breathe them in, and then the particulates eventually fall to earth, so the PM2.5 pollution that can be measured in the air is hyperlocalized. That doesn't mean that the pollution doesn't exist, but it is not caught on most traditional EPA PM2.5 monitors costing $100,000 and not caught on any PM2.5 monitors at all if they are not near the stationary source. PM2.5 monitors have to be hyperlocalized and they have to be near a residential wood burner to count that particular wood burner's emissions. PM2.5 monitors are not located in enough places to pinpoint each source of pollution and help near neighbors solve their health problems by shutting down indoor residential wood burning. Governments, probably health departments, whether federal, state, or local, should hand out low-cost Purple Air PM2.5 monitors to any near neighbor who complains of their neighbors wood burning polluting the air in the near neighbor's yard, endangering the near neighbor's health. There should also be laws accompanying those government PM2.5 monitor handouts saying that data from those monitors should be evidence to shut down each individual wood burner stove or wood burning fireplace, etc., whose stack or fence line has PM2.5 levels above government limits, whether annual limits of 8 micrograms per meter cubed or daily limits of 25 micrograms per meter cubed. I believe that individual human actions are causing climate change and stopping some individual human actions can slow climate change. I believe that wood burning is not carbon neutral. Indoor residential wood burning is 90% PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, producing a cascade of human health problems. Near neighbor's yards can be thought of as fence line measurement sites, or even stack measurement sites if neighbors are close enough to the wood burner stack.